yeah man. Bless you, you know. Give thanks again, once again, for the opportunity to speak to the listeners from all over the world about herbs and the little knowledge that I have about them, you know, and the medicines that they provide. So, the little that I know, I always want to spread it. I'm not like the tailor, because you have some tailor in Jamaica. When normally when people go to learn tailoring, what they do, they teach them to make the pants and they teach them to make the shirt with the hole back on the jacket. They don't teach them to make the jacket, you know, because <laughs> they want to have something. So, they, so if a person comes to build a suit, they can only build the pants and they have to depend on the person who taught them the trade to cut the jacket for them and to build the jacket. So we don't do that, you know. We're going to send out everything out there that we know about herbs and your medicines. But the first thing you have to know about herbs and medicines is that you only need medicine when you're sick. If you don't, if you're not sick, you're not in need of medicine. And if you eat right, eat healthy, drink healthy, do the things that you're supposed to do, and avoid the things that you're supposed to avoid, you, you will be healthy. You're going you're to be healthy. You're going to be healthy. So you would make your medicine be your food and your food be your medicine. So you wouldn't need to go to the doctor that you have to tell you that you have cancer or diabetes or any of these things. Yeah, to get you now in a lot of problems with money. And because some of the times, really, it's not the sickness that kills the person, you know. Most of the time is hearing about the sickness or knowing about the sickness that causes the person to die because they start now to worry. And that brings down stress. And stress brings down stress can cause diabetes, stroke, all of these things. Pressure leads to stroke. You yeah. see me? So sometimes it's not that because you have the cancer or because you have the diabetes, it's because you have the diagnosis. When the doctor tells you that you have it, you start to worry. So you have to put that part aside now because the doctor are there, they have to diagnose and tell you what you have as a problem. But you must always know that. Chemotherapy and all of that is not the only solvent for cancer and all these things. Because most of the time after you do that, you don't really work out for much long either. Yeah? So if you can get your body to detoxify, detoxification of your body, drinking enough water, drinking the right detoxes, you have to detox you purify your blood once again because herb is not a one day thing like how oh, you go to the pharmacy and you get a tablet for a headache or you get a tablet for a belly ache or you get a tablet for some other things and you take it and you say oh in a space of 10 minutes it's gone and you're gone again and you're gone to work no because what that tablet did was not to solve the problem yeah you just make it seem like the problem solved you just tap it for a little while herbs are there to solve the problem so you can have a problem and that you maybe you remember you have something that's going on with you for like eight years you have this problem so don't just expect you have this problem for eight years and you're gonna start use herbs and in, by the time you take herbs for one week and two weeks you want to get rid of a problem that you had for ten years in two weeks <laughs> yeah it don't work that way no, sir. herbs are loyal to us so we have to be loyal to the herbs too for it to work. And herbs are a spiritual thing too. That's why we say we don't reap herbs on certain time of the moon. When the moon is weak and all of that and young. Yeah? We reap herbs in the full moon or in the dark night. When the herbs have them full strength and power. That they can get to do the things that they're supposed to do. So, you can't fully be dependent on the herb neither. You got to be doing something also for yourself. I always say, people always come and ask me, oh, what's the remedy for weight loss? What's the remedy for weight loss? People are always asking that. And I know in America and all these places where there are a lot of fat people, people want to know these things. But guess what? The same people that are asking what is the remedy for weight loss, they want me to give them something to eat or to drink. <laughs> That's what they want, you know. They want something to eat or to drink to get rid of the weight. While to put on the weight, they had something to eat and to drink, to put on the weight. So there are some people that just love eating 
and drinking so much that you want to use it to put on the weight and you want to use eating and drinking to also take off the weight. It can work, but you're also going to have to do some work too. So I can give you something that can take off the weight, yes, help with weight loss and everything, but you're also going to have to do something for yourself. We can also we can help you with the weight loss because there are things that you can drink to detoxify your body and burn the fat and all of that. But while burning the fat, you can just sit down like I'm sitting down here now on this block and you're just drinking this thing and by the time you finish drinking this thing, you sit down and you eat a big thing of ice cream and a big <laughs> box of Kentucky. And then after you finish that now in the night again, you go back and drink a little medicine. Yeah? And then tomorrow morning you get up and eat this big walk of food. No. You gotta help yourself also while the medicine is gonna, it's gonna help you, but you have to also help yourself. Because if you just lose the weight like that, how would it look for you to just lose weight like that? It's not gonna be good because if you just lose a lot of fat like that, you're gonna be floppy all hanging down, which means you're going to have to exercise. So while you're losing this weight and you're drinking this weight, you have to gonna do some exercise now. Take a walk in the, in the morning or before you go to work or in the evening after you come from work. Yeah, Stop eating some of the things that you usually eat. Give something a break. Go on a fruit diet, go on a vegetable diet for a time. You might not, you're not gonna, I'm gonna, we can't put you on a diet forever, but you can go on a little diet for a little while and see how that work out for you like in two weeks, how you feel. Yeah, in your yeah. body and test it, right? Yeah, test keep, it. Keep, just yeah. test, see just what test. works for you. Yeah, just test and see what works for you and see how you feel in your body. And then you, if you feel good, so good in your body, maybe that will help you now if you make the decision and say, oh, yo, I can do this some more because I'm feeling good. And so you have to help yourself while the herbs help you because the herbs are here to help you, you know. But you also have to help yourself because remember, it's not the herbs put in the situation that you are in. It's the bad food <laughs> and the bad thing that we've been eating. Mm -hmm. that I notice I say we, because I'm also a part of it. We grew up eating all type of junk and all type of food where we're not supposed to be eating all type of fertilizer and chemical food and, you know, which have side effects because the chemical that they use and the things, these chemicals are poison. So after a while, even though the poison wash off and all of them things, there, some of it still kind of left as residue in the plant so when you continue to eat it it might not do you just one thing at one time but after a period of years you start hearing okay this you have prostate this start here you have ulcer this one the all type of diseases they all come through what we eat and what we drink they all coming through that the same thing that we put in our body so we now have to consider what we put in our body that we can live a more healthy a happier lifestyle which you don't have to be running to the doctor to do a surgery and here, surgery and surgery. I know accidents do happen, you know. So we're not talking about accidents here because accidents do happen where people have to run into the emergency and see the doctor and all of that, broken legs and all type of different things where you have to run here and gunshot and you know. We're not talking about those now. We're talking about the normal sicknesses that affect mankind which are internal illnesses and it's what you put inside that will show up back on your outside, you know. Because if you're eating something that's not agreeable with your body, your body gonna show it out on the skin. That I don't like this, you know, something is wrong here. I don't mm -hmm. this thing, yeah. You might start getting some bumps or or if you're eating too much oil, it start showing some bump on your face, or if you're eating too much sugar, it start making a start scratch or itch or so your body always talking to you. And yeah. telling you telling you things that you just you have to listen. Yeah. Yeah. And say, oh, something mm -hmm. is going wrong. No, I'm eating too much of this thing here. Because I notice every time I eat this is like an allergy now. I'm, you know, so I need to let go and mm -hmm. ease off. Yeah, so we can help ourselves. Just let our medicine be our food and our food be our medicine. And I always have this thought that I always think. Um they say, because there are certain things that I question for my own self, you know, and I don't have to go into you no know, big books or big research or you know, big mind, I just view them for myself. We human beings are the only creature on earth that think that after their mother and their father wean them or their mother wean them from breast milk, they need milk right through their life, same way until death, they still need milk. The cow don't do it, the horses don't do it, the goats don't do it. Name all the, all of the other animals that suck. After their mother wean them, dogs, cats, after they get weaned, they go about and start eating food which they were start practicing to eat from before because they, they, they train them. 
to start eating it and say this is food for you. So when they wean them, they know that it's okay. This is what we're supposed to eat. I'm supposed to eat a lizard or catch a rat over here or something. <laughs> yeah? yeah. But yeah. human beings now, after they get weaned, after their mother, <laughs> they say that's not it for milk for me, man. I'm gonna it's rob a good point, that. Man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna rob that cow. I'm gonna rob the goat. I'm gonna rob every single animal out there that has milk. Because mm -hmm. I want milk. Yeah. So the calf has a problem because they continue taking away the milk from the calf. And then they you know what they do? Give the calf a substitute. They give the cow calf a yeah. substitute mm -hmm. while they take away the cow milk from the mother that the calf is supposed to be getting. So I don't have anything against people who eat beef and eat anything that they want to eat, you know. Don't get me wrong, I drink milk, mm -hmm. I eat anything that what they want to eat. What I want to say is, there are other plants out there that has more, if it's calcium they're talking about, because I don't think we're going to calcium and vitamins, we're going to minerals. Minerals is a big topic that all these little things that they're adding come from. They are in vitamin A and in vitamin B, C, D, E, E, Got all of these things coming from this big word, the minerals that your body needs. And they categorize it and put it in itself, vitamin C, vitamin D. So if you're talking about, say you need vitamin C, right? And they say, you need protein. And they say milk or fish, because that's what we learned in school. So if milk <laughs> and fish, if, to get protein, most protein, or chicken, to get most protein. So that will make it look as if the vegan, who decide to eat to go the vegetarian the vegan lifestyle who don't eat fish or chicken and don't drink milk it's gonna be like lack of lacking of protein then it's gonna be protein deficient but it's not so because there are plants out there that they have proven like a plant called the alfalfa you can look it up they have proven that the alfalfa plant if you make a glass of alfalfa it has more protein than a glass of milk for real protein from a milk milk up. I didn't know than a glass of milk and that's a plant mm -hmm. so when I was growing up they make it look as if protein could only come from animals yeah that's what we learned it's I've still... never knew that protein came from plants until I start studying plants this way that know that protein we get plant protein from plants and even more protein mm. than what I get from the animal but what I know in my head is that the animals that they eating to get the protein from yeah. and to get what they're getting from those animals eating the plants it's interesting you see an animal that's so strong like a horse that only eats you see what i'm saying plants and it's Pl so, and it's so and huge and powerful because look at it they are eating the plants yeah. and while they are eating the plants the human being is, is watching them so, <laughs> yeah watching them the, instead of the human being eat the plants like them to get thick no the human being are watching them oh yeah that goat is getting ready <laughs> We're going to kill him for Christmas. Mm. Christmas goat. Yeah. Raise him for Christmas. We're going to mm. kill him. He's getting fat and they feed him up. Yeah. But the same way that grass is getting, what, is, what the goat is getting from, what he's getting from the grass. You could be getting, getting it too. Yeah, there's a and lot getting, of resources. Yeah. yeah, and getting just like and look like that goat, big and thick too. <laughs> I guess you would be almost so be ready for Christmas too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if there's a cannibal around you, you would be getting ready for Christmas too, you know. <laughs>